How do you know when it's time to start dating after a divorce? Hey guys, today we're gonna <laughs> talk about we're gonna talk about that, right? Because um, we went through it, mm -hmm. and uh, well, stay tuned and see what we have to say. All right, look at you! Yay! <laughs> okay. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. So one of our uh, friends uh, recently asked this question and we thought we would address it here. How do you know when it's time to start dating after a divorce or a relationship? How do you know? Well, I had a, actually I went to a marriage counselor uh, towards the end of my first marriage and I remember him saying, he tells everybody to wait at least a year before you start dating. And at that time I'm like, a year? A year? Like, I'm, I'm supposed to not be with anybody for a year? That's, I mean, wait. I mean, make sure you're, definitely make sure you're over your first marriage and, or second or whatever number, the previous marriage, previous relationship. Right. Make sure you're done, you're ready to move on, and there's no hope. Right. Um, and especially that's, when you have kids. Right. And, uh, and when and when Jay talked about knowing that you're you're over it, so that means that you're gonna have to take the time to grieve that loss because it is a loss. And so, um, so the thing is, is to be true to your emotions and your feelings, knowing that I'm hurting, I'm broken, this this things, but without being stuck in that sadness to where depression takes place because then that becomes a, a bigger issue. And for me, I. I um... I was willing to work on my first marriage or, or, or open to reconciliation for a couple of years until a certain point when just based on circumstances or whatever, I knew that, you know, it's time to, it's time to move on. I also dated before I was personally ready too, even after the, the the divorce and um, I knew that I wasn't ready but I still you know a lot of times we don't want to be alone so I agree and I think that was the same thing for me I've actually did everything wrong which is why I can honestly say this works and this doesn't work because I didn't um, give myself enough time to grieve that relationship and and I jumped to another relationship and truth be told my divorce wasn't even final and honestly that was something that we had to deal with in our marriage because of guilt that you know our marriage our marriage wasn't final and we were already dating and we had to repent or I had to repent before God did you know about that too? Um, well actually you told me after we had been talking to each other for a few months. Oh, by the way. It was not a few months. Yes, it was. It was, was it in a like few December. Months. No, it was not yes, December. It, was. it wasn't December, it was. but it is true. It was. I didn't share that piece of information yet because I was, I was afraid. <laughs> but see, anyways. See, I told you guys, uh, we, we don't sit here. We serve a God full of grace. Amen. So. Right. No, I had to uh, honestly, like, I don't know. I have to think about that stuff and, you know the thing is that uh, our father in heaven knows that we're broken people that's right and and it's not like we just go out there and do whatever we want and say hey God's gonna forgive me anyways but a lot of times we're like those teenagers that, <laughs> yes oh seriously I, I think about that a lot that God God wants us to do what he says like his plan this is, this is, this is the blueprint. But how often do we not do we not follow that Derailed blueprint? That. Mm -hmm. And if we did, then we would we wouldn't have the heartache that we. So our our God doesn't want us to get hurt. Disclaimer: the thing, whenever Jay and I talk about relationship, we I feel that we have gone through so much together that now it, by sharing our mistake. I feel that if that can help someone by not repeating that, to God be all the glory. Because I feel that, I mean, I'm sure people have done worse, but to me, when you think about all the what not to do, I think we've done a lot of them. 
Number one, we were saying to grieve the loss, now, making sure you're over it and ready to go. Number two, I would say, like Jay talked about, he referred to that counselor. You saw that counselor that kind of gave you some tips. Yes, so take, take that time. Yourself. Yes, and through that time, grow. Grow, surround yourself with healthy people. That's right. Uh, yes. People that are going to build you up. I, I was in a relationship for over a year. I was single dad for about five years, but I had one uh, you know, long relationship. And I knew I needed to work on myself. It was easier to, to go into a relationship than to work on myself. That's right. But I grew so much in that time. That's what I was going to actually ask. So ask yourself, why am I? Am I ready because I don't want to be alone? Find out your um, motive. And, and, and make, and, 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 and. No, we kind of tell our, we tell our teenagers like to take their time. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we don't do it. Right. And we see the value in it, but because right. it, it's hard. That's right. But if we could rewind, rewind our lives, uh, I think we would take the hard way. Absolutely. I think most of us would, would take the hard, the hard road because we know that we'd be better off for it. That's right. Well, I know I definitely would, in, in, in more ways than just relationships. A lot of churches have this class called Divorce Scare. Divorce Care. Divorce. Not Divorce Scare. No. Divorce Care. That I highly recommend. I've done that and... Or if, if it's not, if there's not one called Divorce Care, a lot of times they have... Uh, different resources or groups. Uh, yes. um, or a counselor or a coach. Either way, just the people that you're surrounding yourself to help you through this, make sure they're not in the same boat as you. So find someone who's a few steps um, ahead of you to help you through that. Okay. Um, and number three, if, if you have kids, you have to consider them. How is it? How is this going to affect them mm -hmm. if I start dating? And then how are you going to date? How are you going to go about it? Chances are that you're going to kiss kiss a few toads before you kiss the prince. Is that how it goes? Kiss a few toes before you get to before you get to your prince. Oh uh, yeah, or princess. Um, <laughs> for, for the fellas out there, but think about those things. So like when things do get serious, how are you gonna handle it with the kids? So. Right, and with the kids. So you in 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 terms of knowing when you're ready and taking that time. So it's not just yourself. If you're a single parent, you gotta think about like Jay said, their mental state as well. Where you might be ready to go because you've been dealing with that spouse and the issues for years, they have been mostly in the dark. They may have heard some arguments or whatever, but they're kids, they are still hoping for the best. So you're gonna have to be sensitive to their emotions. Um, right, some might actually be happy that you and their or parents some are that so, no longer some together. some are so young that that's all they know. Or right. so young that you know when divorce happened, they know that's all they know. So. Right, right. So to know when you're ready, take the time to grieve their loss. Um, talk to someone while you're taking that time build yourself up get connected get plugged in get a counselor and uh, I'll go to divorce care classes or see any kind of resources that your church or your group or wherever might have available and then also uh, we said consider your your children are they ready for you to start dating and things of that nature yeah and so pray and wait for that peace from the Lord and if all of those things are lined up and you feel strong, you have no doubt, and you have that peace, then what do you think, Jay? Are they ready to start dating? Not yet. <laughs> Wait a little bit longer. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know how many times this has happened, but a lot of times you hear like people say they're, they're looking for somebody, and then when they stop looking, that's when they find somebody. Mm -hmm. That's right. Or when they stop focusing on that, you know. Right, which is... So that's the thing, like, focus on yourself, focus on, focus on your passions. Yeah. Focus on the Lord, focus on your passions, so get involved in things that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. And who knows, maybe you'll meet somebody that's interested in the same things that you're interested in. Right. But be healthy. That's, yes. that's like, focus on yourself first. Make yourself healthy, a healthy you because you want to attract somebody healthy. That's so right. healthy people are attracted to healthy people. That's right. That's all we have for this Q&A regarding 
when to know um, when it start when it's time to start dating after a divorce or a breakup from a relationship. So the takeaway from this here, take the time and be be healthy. healthy. Be healthy. <laughs> be healthy. Take the time and be healthy. And now, <laughs> what time? What time is it? It's time, time to, to go grocery shopping. I wanted to share a quick disclaimer. Um, I admitted that I wasn't divorced when Jay and I started dating. However, I had been separated and moved out of my house with my ex for three years. So my ex was still in Atlanta and I lived here in Florida and I moved back to Florida. So I wasn't, I didn't cheat on my ex with Jay or anything like that. I just, you know, after we had been separated for three years and I was a single mom with two kids, having hundreds of dollars to file for divorce was not a priority for me which was not right and I don't I don't condone that at all and so but that that was that's a part of my journey that's a part of my story and that's one of the things that I did in life that I am not a proud of but I, I also wanted to come back and be clear that I was already separated for at least three years before Jay and I got together so what are you doing with all these balloons, huh?